In this video, we show how to prepare and eloquate the Cypress Diagnostics Biochemistry Calibrator and Quality Controls. Eliquating means splitting the original volume of solution in smaller quantities. By storing these solutions at minus 25 to minus 15 degrees, we will be able to reuse some portion later when our analyzers require a new calibration or verification with quality controls. It avoids throwing away any residual volume which was not used on the day of preparation, because the stability of the analytes in these solutions is limited to maximum 8 hours at room temperature. For this procedure you will need the Cypress Diagnostics Biochemistry Calibrator and Quality Controls, an accurate volumetric pipette, a timer, tubes with caps suited for storage in a freezer, transparent Ziploc bags, a marker, and at least 15 milliliters of distilled water. Prepare the calibrator and quality controls as follows. Bring the vials to room temperature for 30 minutes. Gently tap the vial to make any material fall from the rubber cap. Open the vial carefully. Make sure not to spill any lyophilized material remaining on the cap. The label on the vial indicates the amount of distilled water to add. 3 ml for the calibrator and 5 ml for each of the quality controls. Close the vials and allow them to stand for 30 minutes. Gently swirl the vials to homogenize the solutions. Repeat this a couple of times during the reconstitution time. Do not shake, vortex or invert the vials. We now have 3 ml of calibrator and 5 ml of each quality control available for biochemistry analysis. At room temperature, these solutions are stable for 8 hours. Some analytes deteriorate even faster. To maximize the stability and usage of these products, we recommend storing the surplus of volume which will not be used today. The products are then stable up to one month. In this example, 500 microliter of each solution will be used for testing today. The remaining volume can be allocated per 500 microliters. 
as such, a total of 5 calibrator aliquots can be prepared. In addition, 9 aliquots for each quality control can be prepared. Tightly close the caps and indicate with a marker which product has been aliquoted in which tube. Take a Ziploc bag and indicate the reference, lot number and stability period of the aliquots. Make sure to store each aliquot upright, between minus 25 and minus 15 degrees. Do not freeze and thaw each aliquot more than once, and do not use beyond the stability period or when contamination is suspected.